President Trump has released his 2020 budget plan and included $8.6 billion for additional barriers along the southern U.S. border. It comes as the White House scrambles to contain GOP defectors on President Trump's emergency declaration. ABC's Serena Marshall reports. A new budget, but for the president, the same priority. We need to continue to secure the country. We need to continue to secure the border. We're not going to be bashful about that. In his newly released 2020 budget, the White House seeking nearly $9 billion for a border barrier, six times more than what he got following the longest government shutdown in U.S. history. And while it also includes a bump to military spending, the $4.75 trillion budget, the largest in federal history, has sharp cuts to domestic programs, slashing almost a third of the EPA budget, the Education Department by more than $7 billion, and $1.9 trillion in cuts to safety net programs like Medicaid. But it's the border request that could mean deja vu for so many. We have a humanitarian and national security crisis at our border, and the president's doing his job in addressing it. Democrats warning in a statement saying Congress refused to fund his wall and he was forced to admit defeat and reopen the government. The same thing will repeat itself. We hope he learned his lesson. The proposal comes as the Senate gears up for a vote to nullify the president's national emergency declaration, his attempt to allocate money for the border wall without congressional approval. Enough Republicans are on board to pass the measure as the White House tries to contain the defectors. President Trump tweeting, Republican senators have a very easy vote this week. It is about border security and the wall, not constitutionality and precedent. Already a veto promised. Well, nearly a dozen Republicans are on the fence, and even if they do have veto-proof majority in the Senate, it's highly unlikely they'll have it in the House, leaving the constitutionality up to the courts.